Magic Elizabeth questions. You're first going to write your last name and then your first name in the box here. You will then select your class number. You will then be provided the access code. Here are the beginning of your multiple choice questions. Number one, part A, which statement best states a theme in the passage? A, difficult journeys are best taken with a friend. B, nature can be appreciated despite being unpredictable. C, people have the ability to adapt to unpleasant situations. Or D, adults may struggle to understand the challenge of being young. Part B, which detail from the passage best supports the answer to part A? Letter A, as if we didn't have enough troubles, groaned Mrs. Chipley, there it goes and rains on us. Letter B, but Mrs. Chipley strode purposely on, as if she had no time to notice small discomforts. Letter C, the two of them had come all the way across the city on the bus, and during the ride the sky had darkened. Letter D, a few days and I'll have my daughter straightened around and come back. Number two, part A. How does Sally's attitude change during the passage? A, at first she is unhappy, but then she becomes satisfied. B, at first she is distrustful, and then she becomes confident. C, at first she is scared, but then she becomes a little curious. Or D, at first she is angry, and then she becomes slightly daring. Part B, which two sentences from the passage, when taken together, best support the answer to part A. A. Sally clinging to Mrs. Chipley's plump hand was almost running to keep up with her. B. As they stepped off the bus, the branches of the tall trees rattled like bones in the wind. C. Rain flew into Sally's eyes and even into her mouth, and it dribbled unpleasantly beneath the collar. D. And yet Sally at least was not feeling brave at all. E. And it was your own ma left her name in case of an emergency. Or F. I wonder what, what she's like, Sally said. Number three, part A. How does the storm in paragraph five contribute to the passage? A. It develops the weather as a villain character type. B. It introduces Sally's concern about bad weather. C. It establishes a conflict between the characters. D. It represents Sally's fear of her changing situation. Part B. Which sentence from paragraph 5 best supports the answer to part A? A. It splashed and flew about them as they hurried along the gloomy street, as if the faster they went, the... Letter B. Their coattails snapped behind them. C. Raindrops hitting a large mailbox echoed like drumbeats down the street. Letter D. Sally's long red hair fluttering banner-like behind her gave their small procession a brave look. Number four, part A. Which option describes the main purpose of paragraph eight in the passage? Letter A, to give the reasons Mrs. Chipley and Sally are going to Aunt Sarah's house. B, to reveal that Sally's Aunt Sarah will be in town only for a short time. C, to show Sally's confusion about how to handle the situation or D, to explain that Mrs. Chipley has a daughter who needs help. Part B, which detail from paragraph eight best supports the answer to part A? Letter A, going back again to, pretty soon, your ma tells me, said Mrs. Chipley. B, only came back here to sell the house. Letter C, but never you mind, honey, she went on, without slankening her furious pace at all. Letter D. I'm sure I didn't know what else to do but call her. What with your mom and dad away on that business trip. 